we go. Also, should, probably should dig my way in a bit as well. I'm going to try and remove the immediate uh, encasing walls around this path. Just to make it less likely that we get trapped. And Oh, here it comes. Oh, Prepare your weapon. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's just it's just replacing all of the the slime. Oh, okay. And I cannot keep up with it. Ooh, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. And off it goes. All right. Well, it's kind we of just replace problem, all of that slime we dug up. So he's like a a, a slime machine. Yep. I mean, on that. In that sense, it's actually kind of useful, but... I'm going to dig a couple of little side tunnels. <laughs> you the had question exactly. is whether it had enough damage or whether it's just going to keep respawning as it goes. I wonder if there's an end to his, like, um, tunnel. Because there's an end down one I'm... side, I think. Oh, is there? I think down at the bottom there where I found the end, but I'm not sure 100%. Because I was kind of assuming that it was it was circular, because it's got a curve. No, oh, maybe, maybe. There we go. Now it's just a matter of waiting for him to come back around, I guess. I'll try not to travel too far oh, away no. from it. What's wrong? I'm just being followed by some enemies. It's okay. I think they've gone. Okay. Oh, gosh. But I'm fairly certain that those spike traps oh, do not do it. Okay. Oh. Wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on. Are you alive? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got just like, I, I went in, um, basically there was a big sort of poison trap on the floor and it got, right. I got between that poison trap and a whole I've big bunch. I've still not bunch. seen what those poison traps are like. I think, I think it was like a sort of poisony slime on the floor. I'm still not too oh. sure. <laughs> okay. Was it a different color? I think it was like a yellowy sort of color, I think. Okay. Do you note it? Avoid yellow slimes. Not yellow slimes, the yellow slime on the floor. Right. I think, anyway. It will happen a bit fast, honestly. I'm on my way back, though. Okay. Collecting more gravestones. <laughs> For the graveyard. Indeed. You're not dying because you, you were failing. You're dying through success. Yeah, I'm dying to make this graveyard the best graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> Witness Shelab's dedication to the cause. Yeah, I need to come get my stuff back now. Ooh, what is this? Some glowy uh, insect over here. There we go. That looks like a bomb. That looks like a bomb insect if ever I've seen a bomb insect. I'm going to continue expanding out the pathway over here. Let me know if you sense Gorm. Okay. Because I'll uh, relocate to the side of the pathway and attack it as soon as it passes by. But we also really do need to figure out if it is actually regenerating its health because that's going to be a big yeah thing. yeah i hope it isn't because that's just way too hard like it would we... probably mean that we would need a different tactic to take it on that just you know plinking at it a little bit isn't enough we need to be able to do yeah. an enormous amount of damage oh here it comes let's get to the side yeah it is definitely regenerating, regenerating. So what we'll need All to right. do is stop him. I, I I take it he just goes straight through terrain in the same I'm way. I'm assuming that it goes straight through terrain. Uh, that said, it, that said, 
water, perhaps? Maybe. It's one thing for it to be able to See this yellow terrain. slime on the floor here? This is where I died. I don't know if that's, like, poison. Acid slime. Yeah, so I got caught on the, between the acid slime and the, the dudes. Really noted. But let's try and dig up the uh, ground here. Ah, that might be the dudes are following me. Hang on. Wait, you head back. There's still a path for, through here. Okay, he's dead. Right, there you go. Help me uh, dig up the ground here so that we create perhaps something a that moat. will stop Gorm. Yeah. Never, never know. It might be like the sandworms of Arrakis. Might die if it encounters water. I'd like help if my uh, shovel was actually not broken. want to block you off. Thank you. Alright, do we have a hiding place when he comes past? I, I am I am digging this backwards now, so it is going to be blocked off. If you've got enough bridges to build over, they're just made of wood, but actually you'd have to have them with you. Yeah, I'll make say you a, can't a make bridge them in the inventory, you can you? Don't worry, I'll make you a little bridge. Uh, coming up to do that now. Right, so little bridge over to this area. Oh, actually, let me not put it all the way down there. I will bridge up to here because that's off Gorm's path. Yeah, yeah, nice. So we're breaking yeah. breaking his path to see if that uh... to see if that that impedes his progress. He, yeah. It might just be a case that he'll just go straight over it and create new ground. Yeah. On the plus side, that means you could farm ground. Yeah. There's always an upshoot. This is so fun. I mean, it, it's fun right now. If if this doesn't work, then no, back to the square game. one. The, the game in general is being fun. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying one. it. We definitely want to continue hunting for uh, tin, though. Oh, yeah. And okay. We already know where there is iron, so... Yeah. We might even be able to just go straight up to the next... Well, a lot uh, of the iron next, stuff needs uh, tin yeah. and iron, so we definitely do yeah. still need the tin. That is true. Though, it does offer the uh, possibility that we would be able to... Uh, make go straight to the next tier without too much worry oh yeah yeah we're not gonna be able yeah have any trouble with that i don't think hopefully all right i'm continuing to delete gorm's path really hope oh yeah gorm, gorm comes is gorm just gonna go across Yes, Gorm just goes straight across. Doesn't care. Mm. Alright, so that, that plan is a no-go. Definitely need to... Unless we just follow Gorm I'm for gonna a while. And yeah, see let's Gorm follow comes. him. See how far we can go. Might find all kinds of riches and secrets along the way. This is looking ever more like it is just a circular path. Oh, what's this? Oh, just a bunch of slimes and... Larval masses, it seems. There we are, that's a little bit better. Here we are, the iron area. Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe for now, following through on Gorm isn't the right move. I think the maybe Hive Mother might actually be worthwhile. Yeah. That said, we are now somewhat far up from where the hive mother is so we could just start digging down we might collect some iron on the way and if not at least the next time that gorm passes us we can then veer off and follow back down his uh trail without too much concern yeah because right now 
Gorm is faster than we are. That's why yeah. we can't do damage to Gorm. Yeah, so we need we need speed buffs and, and all sorts. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I've got bridges. Never You're leave so home well alone. prepared. A seasoned spelunker. There's me like, oh, we're going to need to find a way round and all this. And yeah, you're my just like... pickaxe is sadly gone, though. So I'm going to start punching sand. Oh, never mind. Both punching sand. What's this? Okay. Got some interesting gubbins. All right, lots of the egg sacks, unfortunately. This may be a little bit of a risky place. I'll take care of the ones behind us. Oh, the uh, the spikes and the slimes do not get on. Interesting to know. Very interesting to know. That's very useful info. I'm gonna quickly grab something to eat. Two seconds. I I can only collect this tin because it's in dirt, and uh, even armed with nothing but my. Uh, bare hands, I can dig through dirt fairly quickly because of my level. Some wood down here. Okay, so these biomes are not as localized as I initially thought they were. Yeah. I was kind of thinking that they were kind of progressive in that uh, you move from one biome to the next and that's kind of how the game marks its progress, but it doesn't seem that way actually. You doing okay? Yeah, health yeah, and stuff. That. My health is a little bit rough, but I'll just gobble down some food. There we go. There's a whole bunch of those guys to the right. Yes, there are. Right, watch out. That is going to hurt a lot. Draw back. We can handle the little Oh! No, ah, I didn't draw back quickly enough. <laughs> And unfortunately, I yoinked a bunch of your gear because you died right next to me. Don't worry. And the gravestone came up. If you worry about that, oh, that's you fine. can actually take out the uh, cocoons before it uh, yeah. catches. Useful to know. I am not the most careful player in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a load of junk, broken shovels though. So I'm going to drop those in favor of picking up more useful things. Uh, just sandy soil. I'll pick up those. Okay. I'm going to quaff a potion. Get my health up. Wait a sec. Sheila, did you die with potions in your inventory? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not well, alone. It, was so, it wasn't because I was like, you know struggling for health or regen or anything like that it was just basically because i was it was so fast i couldn't do anything about yeah, it they you know? do attack very very quickly on the plus side we are constantly gaining more levels in combat which is allowing us to fight faster Good. so that will that will help us in times just right now it is a bit of a bit of a rough one using just my own hands to dig, which is not great, I'll be honest, but oh well. All right, I see. Oh wow, that was actually quite a, a long uh, crevasse there. Is that how you say it? Crevasse? I'm not sure at all. Crevice, no, crevasse? Actually. I crevice, actually don't know. I don't know whether that's just uh, an Americanism or not. There we go. I'm making my way down, slowly but surely. Right. Oh wow, yeah, there, there's some, some massive chasms here. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. Gorm is a bit of an interesting one as well. 
the way it just digs through. I'm making a tunnel going all the way back to our base. Okay. Hopefully, anyway. Although I might I'm end up getting... To drop more gubbins on the ground. And use a dirt pickaxe for now. Stop. Scarcely faster than my fist, but it is a little bit. Ah, oh, There's a... What? There's a crevice over here. I found the... I'm finding some more tin on the way back, so at the very least we're going to be able to upgrade some yeah, more of our gear. I can't get to you, I'm afraid. Boom. Did you not make any more um, bridges? bridges? No. I am terribly prepared, scout, splunker. Well, I've run out of bridges, sadly, so I'm I'm in the much the same position. I can't get to you. You can't get to me. There are, will sometimes be, um, like, land bridges, though. Yeah. Between areas. Just trying to join up a few of the tunnels, you know. Yeah. Makes it easier to get around regardless, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So many fireflies. Any talent in mining? So yeah, I think... The only way around is to go back down, all the way back down to the... All the way back down to the clay and round. Okay, I'm going to start investing in my ability to see ores at a greater distance from me. But you picked up my graveyard, didn't you? My, my graveyard, my gravestone, didn't you? So that's kind of yep. cool. And everything on it, yeah. So if you can actually get over to me, I can see the tunnel you dug, I think. Yeah, I like dug a, a cool tunnel. North tunnel. Yeah, if you come back up here with some... Uh, bridges, I'll make some bridges. bridges yeah, we we'll need some bridges. There we are, I see you. Yeah, we just need Hi. to cross there, don't we? Just here. Yep, pretty much. I'll run back and make some. Lay some torches around the place so it's a little bit easier to see. Of course, I need to make some torches. Can't help but notice you're still sporting your, your little pouch. What? Little pouch? Yeah, the little, the little uh, um, adventurer's pouch instead of the backpack. No, I got the big backpack. Explorer backpack on. Oh, where did this pouch come from then? Or oh, maybe maybe it fell out of a chest then, I suppose. I apologize. No, I had a spare one there or something. But yeah, I'm wearing my explorer's one. Which is why it didn't fall off me when I died. Yeah. So I am over here. I need to make some bridges for you. I'm just going to continue mapping out the uh, edge of this uh, chasm here. So wooden bridges will bridge water and like gaps then. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So very useful. Pretty much anything. Wood there. Mushrooms. My way back to do a bridge. Don't want to drop. Don't want to eat that. So, uh, do I really want to now? Um, stone walls can drop. Plus side, getting loads of extra seeds as well. While yeah. I'm right here. Okay, 
I'm making like a a way through and it's going to join up to some of your other uh, bridges. But I did just notice a whole load of those little dudes going down there. What do you mean little dudes? Oh, I think they got killed. The little um little grubs they were going down your down your walkway. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Okay, so then also we wanted a little bridge over here, I think. Oh no, here they are. They were actually coming straight down here for me. <laughs> Glad I could give you a little oh, warning no. then. Yeah, thank you, because they would have one hundred percent snuck up on me. Those little scoundrels. Hello. There's a little bridge here for you. Hi. I'll widen that later. And then I also did a bridge across here. Okay. So we can just like go straight on to this bridge here. I'm going to pop down plenty of torches all along here. Just so that we've got clear visibility in these tunnels. Also, it allows me to map the tunnels. So I actually uh, have them on the... Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there we are. Increasingly, I'm starting to see the value of building that railway forge. Yeah, yeah, because we've got a lot of different tunnels and That's we could start map. building a really sort of a, a straight path, you know, going yeah. straight from our house, maybe straight across the, the Gorm's path or something like that. And, yeah. and maybe one up to the north. Yeah, I definitely would be up for doing some railway tunnel building. Man. It's just like so much to do. <laughs> yeah. No, this this game is, so is many plans. greatly exceeded my expectations. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful game. Mm. Especially considering how early in development it is. Mm. There, something down here. This is definitely scratching that Terraria slash Stardew Witch in so many different ways. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine, like you say, I reckon Gorm's tunnel goes all the way around. I suspect so, yeah. So he's you gonna did an amazing job of digging this tunnel, to be fair. Thank you. I'm doing an awful job of lighting it. I'm just throwing down these lights any which way, and I'm with almost no rhyme or reason. That's all right. No proper facing or as long as you like can that, see, so that's the main yeah. thing, right? Yeah. All right, let's get back then. We've got so much gubbins to drop off. Oh my lord. Yeah, yeah, because you've got all my gubbins as well. Yes. It's not useful. But yeah, it's nice to right. have like a, a more direct route over to Gorm's like tunnel then, isn't it? Yep. If nothing else. Right, first and foremost, I will drop off all of the uh, items. What are you doing in my in our base? Stupid slime. Um. And I think the chests and. Anything else? Uh, I actually don't know. I don't know if there was more stuff that was yours. Let me know. And I think most anything? of the stuff that was Missing. useful of mine was... Um, I don't even know where all this peasant gear is coming from. I have no idea. Ch chests that we're smashing. Yeah. I but guess. I think my... Um, coins and stuff. I think most of the stuff that I've got that is useful, I keep on my hotbar, so... Yeah. Well, we only need two more uh, mechanical parts, but I, I'm fairly certain that we know who Gorm the Devourer is now. Yeah. But it might we help to be imagine. able to know where he is on the route if it tracks him around his route. It'd be very useful oh, when we're point, crossing actually, the yeah. road to know where he is. That, is. that is something I hadn't even considered. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a really good point. So we need five gemstones and five mechanical parts. So how are we doing on the mechanical parts? We've got two, have we, so far? Uh, no, three now. Three, okay. Well, I think I think it'd be useful as soon as we do to yeah use them for that. Definitely. All right, dropping off the acid slimes. Did you want to go and try and see what the hive mother was all about? Do you want me to go dig a tunnel to the hive mother? 
I'm fine with either. If you'd like to, yeah. We can definitely yeah. uh, go and give it a poke. Let me just quickly grab a, uh, some repairs. Do you want to finish off your room first, though? Nah, we don't need to do that. I don't need a bedroom. What the? No. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I will. Maybe I'll give it some doors. Yeah, I think it might be one. Uh, make three doors. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch more stuff cooking. What do you mean you need copper to make doors? Well, I mean, you can't just make those hinges out of nothing. There we are. There's some caveling bread and also some mushy pepper wrap. Nom, nom, nom. In there right now. Drop off the seeds. Oh, got a new talent in running. I haven't Zoom checked on. my skills in ages. You might want to, because you may yeah, have some I've got actual some, talents. Yeah, I've got some running talents. 2% movement speed. Or plus 5% dodge chance. Running speed. I don't need dodging. <laughs> my armor is kind of trash right now, though. Ooh, vitality. All right. I think at this point we could easily like just on the tin that I brought back we can have full um, sets now of uh, tin armor very nice I'm going to go ahead and make us both some uh, tin pants I'll put yours into the clothing chest Break mine down. Oh, where, where did I put those? Maybe some tin pants, did you? Very nice. But yeah, I want to know what the hive mothers are all about because it might Have be you... that Gorm is the more difficult of the two. Yeah. Have you picked up all of the um, scrap parts? I have indeed. <laughs> ah. Sorry. I'll put them back in. No, you right. needed one. I'm potty, popping a uh, helmet in there for you now as well. There we go. Full tin armor. Woohoo! Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. I am the golden girl. Yeah, look at me. Oh, I look so cool. I look like a little Roman centurion. It does have a bit of a centurion look, doesn't it? Right, okay, so... Beyond that, we can make the shield. Shield yourself and reduce any incoming damage by 70%. Mm. But you'd have to give up your lantern for it. Ah. And additionally, you've got the slingshot. Simple ranged weapon to fire away at enemies. I mean, that's a possible one. Uh... I have to make all my food out of glowing, the glowing stuff. <laughs> yeah. We can probably make a couple more potions as well. Potion of light. Potions. Uh, that one I can't do because we don't have the Carrox, unfortunately. The larval meat would require a farm of some de some. Um, description. Yeah. But I can definitely make enough healing potions. An awful lot of healing potions, actually. And Sheila will forget to use them and die. Well, I imagine if we're fighting a boss. Yeah. You won't. You won't forget that. Well, it, I think sometimes it's just that you. you it's everything happens too fast, and then you're like, oh, I don't have time to take yeah, my potion. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of what happened before with me. And in all the gardening done, then I'm going to replant the fields. Then, should I prioritize making food, or should we prioritize potions? I think food for now. Let's drop all the seeds off I first. Finished, so I finished my house now, which is and lovely. I will drop off all of the food in there. Do you want to start uh, preparing that? 
Preparing the food. Yep. Yeah. And I will plant. Uh, watering can. There we go. Right, so first, heartberry seeds, of which we need quite a lot. So I'm just going to use this lava meat. And then I will put the heartberries in. Uh, glow tulip seeds. I'm going to put a little bit of these on either side in the middle, no matter what, just so that we've got that lit up. And then bombs. Some fiber. And then the rest of this can be uh, glow tulips. We've actually gotten to the point now where we have more seeds than I can use. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. No, I'm really happy with that, actually. That's a big upgrade for us. Okay, do you want any any actual potions? Um, Maybe some health potions, and I will try and use them if I can. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab the... Okay, I can't grab the heart berries yet. I will grab some of the heart berries. There we are. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need more than that. There we go. Because the potions are heart berries and slime. Okay. Let's make some more bridges as well. Yeah. If we end up getting uh, rapid transit back to base, I think the next thing to try and work on to increase our uh, survivability will be the shields. Yeah. You know, 70% less damage, as long as you can time it right. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Rapid transit. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. One minute you're one place, the next minute you're the next. Like, boom. It is quite swift, isn't it? You're, you're like, what happened? And then all of a sudden you're like back at base. Ah, yes, I died. Yeah. Right, there we go. Got four healing potions in there. Thank you. I'll come uh, and get them in a you. second. You can, just, you can have all of them. I'm just uh, harvesting the tree farm. I'm going to share these out a bit. We've got a lot of uh, hearty pepper wraps, aren't they? Nice. Let's grab those. Nom, oh, nom. they're all hearty pepper wraps. Never mind. So, uh... Hmm. Why are these hearty pepper wraps better? I don't know. I started with some cooking skill. Maybe it's because I put them on. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I've got cooking... Where is it? Uh, cooking nine. No, I got less cooking than you then. Hmm. I've no idea. 5% uh, food from cooked food? Yeah, I, I don't know. Because they're made of the same things, it looks like. Yeah. So well, actually, no, 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 no. They're not... They're not made from the... I wonder what the difference is there. Let me have a look at the recipes. Ah. Well, hmm. No. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, sorry. I was looking at... Yeah, I was reading them wrong. One was mushy pepper wrap and one was hearty pepper wrap. Uh, I apologize. Yeah, that's okay. I'm a massive, massive dumb. A massive dumb. Either way. Right, let's grab the rest of the food, pop it into the food barrel. There we go. Try and grab as many different dishes as you can where you're able to. Yeah. Because it will allow you to eat several different meals and get a bunch of different effects. Also, on that note, I just got a new level in cooking. Hooray. Yay. 10% food from cooked food. All right. Right, I'm going to start, like, sort of making some kind of tunnel that goes sort of towards the hive mother. All right, yep. Uh, I'm going to keep some wood with me, but not a lot. 
and bombs plenty of bombs uh also since we're going to be heading out i am actually going to quickly grab one repair part and fix up my slime sword okay uh oh we've got some more oh actually shield up we've got enough tin i think to make two shields Ooh. we do do you want a shield um ah, instead of your life no. oh. ah. <laughs> Phew. Okay. <laughs> no sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. good now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I'd love a shield. <laughs> okay. Shield get. Uh, I'm also going to make... I've, I've only got enough to make one. Uh, so I'm going to make one slingshot as well. Okay. For now, that should be enough. Now then, losing that glow from the lantern is going to be a bit of a, a shame, but... I've had you shield yourself and reduce any incoming damage by 70%. It is a big upgrade. 36 armor now. Um... doesn't say anything about how to use the shield though I don't know Ooh. okay doesn't look like there's any uh, actual ammo either on the slingshot which is very nice that's actually ultra nice in fact but I'm going to leave the lantern down here. It is a shame to say goodbye to it, but I've got plenty of glow tulip food, so I can I should be able to keep my uh, my glow up anyway. Right, I'm heading your way. Yeah. I hope. Through the new tunnel. Uh, let's see. I will be on my way there momentarily. I'm actually still at the base. But I'm bringing you your shield along as well. Did ah, you pick up all the bombs, wonderful. by the way? Because I've been dropping off crude bombs in the chairs. Um, No, I don't have any bombs on me, I'm afraid. Sorry. That's okay. I don't need to say sorry. I'm not sure how useful they would be in actual combat anyway, because they're slow to go off, that I've noticed. That's actually quite cool. I wonder if there's a limit to how far they go. Oh, I can definitely tell a Sheila path when I see one. Or don't see one, as the case may be. There we go. Don't have too much in terms of uh, torches, sadly. Oh, good. End up running We've out of uh... this area over here. Uh, right. Oh, wow. Uh... I'm going to give you the yeah. shield, if that's okay. I'm just oh, going to yeah, drop sure. it at my feet Thank now. You. There you go. Lovely. And I need some more... Oh, hello there. Oh, got it. Uh, got a new talent in Vitality, apparently. 18, plus 18% of all skill points added to max health. Nice. Very nice. My max health is now 180. Well, 186, actually. Very nice. Alright, gonna drop down plenty of torches. Little egg sack over there I'm gonna go and deal with if I can. There you go. Oh dear. No torches, I'm afraid. Yeah, not having that... That uh, lantern actually is genuinely rough. Not gonna lie. That actually makes things pretty difficult. So, I'm going to have to be much more um, proactive with uh, placing things down. Oh, by the way, <laughs> it just occurred to me, something that Belial told me. Right. You can use uh, a... If you press shift, it'll default to your torch. 
so you can quickly place things down even if you're not ah, equipped. You have, don't oh, have that's really, really good. Anything. Yes. Yeah, it's very good. And can you place the torch using shift as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, as long as you've got shift oh, held. that's clever. I like. Yeah. It's actually just as if you had a torch equipped. I say, and then still mouse over it like a numpty. <laughs> Hello, you. I see you over there, you scoundrel. And a bunch more. New. Nope. I'm getting uh, kind of close to where the hive mother is now, I think. So the hive mother seems to stay a bit stiller than Gorm. We've lost a load of torches behind us. Have we? Because I was a fool and didn't take out the... Uh, the... The, uh, the flooring. Chrysalis. Yeah. I don't have time to do that constantly, so I'm, I'm not going to worry about it for now. As long as it's mostly lit up in our area, that's fine. Yeah. Right. I'm going to continue prioritizing going for tin when I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tin uh, is important. A little bit more food. Right, so I think we're getting close. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't actually too uh, expecting too much from being yeah, able to see or uh, further, but this is actually really useful. It's crazy useful. How's the tunnel going to the Hive Mother so far? New crafting point. Yay. Um, yeah, it's going good. Going good. We're doing all right. Just waiting to get sort of in line with where she is, and then we're going to go down to the south. Uh, what? Yep. What? Why are you like... Oh. Oh, you were finding Mine. some ore, were you? I was like, why are you yep. digging a tunnel parallel to me? How much have I got so far? Seven tin, two gold. Not amazing, to be certain, but it's not terrible either. Oh no! There's have a red one? Problems? There's a red one? Okay, can it. Oh wow, yeah. Okay. By the way, Sheila, do you see the iron just north of me? Yes. Yes, I, I was kind of like not uh, being too worried about. No, oh, that's fine. I was just wondering. The ores at the moment. Yeah, we're definitely I getting think... closer to this hive mother, I think. I mean, <laughs> at this point, we've got. Yeah, I'm starting to discover iron really frequently now. And as my mining skill improves, I'll be able to get more mine from any particular item ah, i've just discovered i've just discovered how you you block it isn't just by having it you press space to block lava it high say ground uh oh what did i just discover something uh. okay lava hive that doesn't sound great not gonna lie sounds kind of horrible watch out got some things over here oh. I'm coming to help that's okay. Just more letting you know that it's uh, not safe here, necessarily. Actually, the shield is incredibly yep. helpful. Yeah. I do seem to be taking a lot less damage. Well, you've got more armor. Are you actually using its ability? Whoa, 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 whoa. Space. Space causes you to... Oh, right, uh, it can do a block. block. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I was trying to work out if it was an active ability or a passive ability. It seemed a little powerful for a passive ability. But uh, it seems that you just need to uh, press okay, space and I think and the Hive Mother is not shield. too far away now. Down to the south. Oh, wow. so far. Okay, this ground is becoming increasing. Oh, you've got a, you've got one following it. I've got two okay, following me. Back, throw back, throw back, 
Just get back. Okay. Good job. Well done. All right, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all, actually. But we can't... I try to dig up this ground. You've got to entirely dig the ground up. Like, it's not... It's not just crystallis anymore. It's like lava ground. Oh. Right. I didn't understand what you were saying before. That is interesting. So this is very seriously a different biome then. Yeah. Hey, new crafting. So I'm actually going to dig towards the hive, hive mother, not through the lava ground. And see if I can, like, scout it out a bit more. Oh, wow. The difference between... Those, uh, the red insects hitting you with the shield versus not is about 80 points of damage. That was a painful for science, but I feel a useful I can't for science. get through this wall. Okay, I'll be down there in a second to have a look. Oh my lord, I'm so fast now. Zoom, zoom. Well, how about you? I can scarcely control myself. What? I'm moving weight. What? Spike traps in the ground. Okay, so there are right here. So there are different. Uh, there are like natural booby traps. I was wondering if that was going to be the case or not. Yeah, looks like that. That. Wall is actually impervious to damage. It looks like this is lava wall. All right. Yeah, this this around here. Yeah. So you may have it may force you to go down this this like lava route, full of spikes and stuff. Right. In order to be able to access the hive mother, and I just walk straight through them again. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to explore the. The oh, outside. you can just pickaxe them up. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, we can see it on the the map. There's a different color to it. Very yeah, so interesting. This is the way into the hive mother. Then you've got to go into the the cave, the hive, and you can't I get in. I suppose then you can't dig in. You've got to get in from here. I guess th what this means is that. Uh, in terms of this area, this is like a proper dungeon. Yeah, effectively, yeah. But also, can we get that floor up with a... Yeah, I dug up a piece of that floor. Hmm, okay. Right. So if you want to use that to maybe make a monster spawn or something, you definitely could, I think. We might have to have a look at that. Yeah. The, obviously, the, the the big question there is how, like, does this spawn a different kind of creature? I think it might be spawning the red ones, possibly. Yeah. All right. Duly noted. I'm going to gobble up a little bit more of this. Okay. Oh. This is yellow. Wait. Is this acid? What do you think, Sheila? What's that, sorry? If you... I wonder if that's acid. There was water above us. Oh, right, okay. I wonder if that's acidic. Maybe. If what, we where, can... where we crossed across to the, the river, sort of thing. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, okay. Duly noted. That does hurt. Um, I wonder... Okay, so first and foremost, we've got loads of these little spike traps. And these do a decent Look chunk behind of you. Also, I know. But the big thing that I'm interested in is how much... Damages this stuff do for Gorm. 
Oh, right. There's one thing going over water. It's another thing entirely going over acid, I would imagine. Well, it depends on how far that acid lake goes. I don't think it goes very far, and it might be that Gorm can't go it, through. As long as it's outside, as long as it gets outside of the biome... Yeah, that's what I'm, th that, that's what I'm saying, though. It be, looks like it's surrounded the by the lava wall. Oh, well, that's what I wanted to check. Yeah. I, I actually stopped going down just before I would have hit that. Yeah, I think it's part of the biome in general, but yeah, definitely it test it. Sense, but it would be interesting to find out. Yeah, it does look like it's going back around this way. It's purely the mother's. Yeah, that's a shame. That would have been fantastic if that was the intended use of it. Yeah, it would have been really cool. If that, that, that's the key to Gorm, you have to bring acid to it. Yeah. That being said... But there might be something once we kill the... the you know how we got the slowing the sword? That, yeah. yeah, and it the also speeds might be up, something, something that uh, allows us to uh, burrow through the lava stuff as well. Because we can't get through it right now, but that doesn't mean that once we've got things like iron pickaxes that we won't be able to do it then. Yeah, maybe. I'm heading back to you now. Thank you. I, say I found a whole bunch of I found a whole bunch of like a nest of stuff, so okay. I need you to come and help heading me with over. it. Right. Heading over there right now. Oh, I wonder also, I wonder if we could fish things out of that stuff. So many possibilities. Okay, ready to go forward. Here, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, watch! Go right back from that. We dig All that right. acid floor up now, don't we? Yep. Nope. Is that your slingshot? Nice. Now I need my shovel out. Ah. Ouch. Sorry, I was not paying attention. I was uh, preparing to. I need to eat up. something more. Yeah, go for it. Okay. My inventory is. Oh my goodness, it's Almost fireballs? Gone. What? Move back. They're not fireballs. Oh, it's something acid. burrowing through the ground. Oh, right. It's... I mentioned that those things looked like they exploded, Ooh. but I don't think they. Well, they do explode, but they. Ex... they... Pop acid everywhere. Yeah. So it's a matter of taking them out before they can do that. Oh gosh. Hello. I am low on health at this point, but. I'm gonna gobble down some more food. Yeah. Have you got health potions? I do, actually. That's a good point. But it looks like there's a chest up here. Okay. Got a petrified egg, a grub knot, and some more fiber. Okay, and also some a larval hive chest. Woohoo! Very nice. More we chests. can put that in our base with all the other cool yeah. chests we've got. Exactly. Oh, oh dear. That's an awful lot of acid and yes. incoming nastiness. Hey, day dead. That's good. So if I stand yeah, with I a sword while you stand, torches. huh? Need to make more torches. Okay. Because I'm I'm out and I don't glow. I got twenty five. Okay. This is definitely giving me the impression that this is actually acid water. I only have five bridges left. I've got hundreds. Oh, brilliant. Well, not hundreds, but uh, hundred and seventy something. Well, that's enough. <laughs> it's okay. fine. I have got enough bridges. Uh, I wonder if... No, that doesn't work, sadly. Right, I'm going to have to pop this up onto my toolbar. But since torches, now that uh, we know that for certain, torches can just be quick uh, attached, or rather quick um, quick equipped. Yeah. Don't need to have them on my hotbar anymore. Right, we've got some... Something dying across there. 
Uh, give me just a second, though. Look at those, those oh. uh, spitballs. There are 100% fish here. Oh, oh. Those spikes hurt these. Oh, oh, nice. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, <gasps> dear God. Oh, gosh. Go back. That is a whole lot of not nice. Actually, as long as we attack in unison, two hits kills these things, so... Yeah. But I'm actually thinking that those uh, those spikes are the key. Watch out, you just walked over acid. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Glowing yellow death on the floor. I forgot that it would hurt. Though this has actually demonstrated one thing for us. Yep. I mean, somewhat obviously, but the insects don't care about acid. That is not a thing that hurts them. 